we kind of went over this a little bit already, but um, if you see a rational exponent like you see right here, and that's, that's about the best I can make it look. Um, maybe some of you prefer to see it as, I don't know, with a slash like that. Uh, it's all a matter of preference. But um, what this is saying, and this is just an example, is, well, if I have the, I don't know, 52nd root of 12, then I could just take 12 and make it to the power of 1 over 52. Um, I guess this one is really changing the notation. We'll get other examples like that. But it does help us with this stuff. Uh, I mean, if, we, if it helps us to see it like this, the square root of 16x to the power of 8, then write it like that, okay? We're just saying that you can bounce in between the two different notations if you want. But the nice thing about this way is that we can use the exponent rules because that's 16 to the power of 1. So if I distribute this 1 half, I'd have 16 to the power of 1 times 1 half. Then I've got x to the power of 8 times the 1 half. So uh, 16 to the power of 1 half times x to the power of 8 times 1 half would be 4. And 16 to the power of 1 half is 4. So this is 4 times x to the power of 4. Uh, 16 to the power of 1 half, by the way, Again, it's the same as the square root of 16, which is a perfect square. It's just 4.